Well, it's a big class. Eight players in one class is, is significant. We are excited about our returning crew, but we feel like we've put the pieces together to really make a great team. And uh, in this, we tried to evaluate uh, what talent looks like to us. And, and obviously, a good basketball player is very important. But for us, we measure talents in a lot of different ways. We had some hurdles last year, and, and I think we have answered a lot of those questions. Now, the measuring stick all comes when we do this interview after the season, and we'll see where we stand. But I, I think we've done everything we can to prepare ourselves for a great season. You know, we have three high school players we're excited about. We have three junior college players, and we have two Division One transfers. And we'll go from oldest to youngest. Our two uh, Division One transfers, Clinton and Washu from Idaho State, is going to be a great player for us. R.J. Freeman will be our second one as a transfer from Grambling State, and he's he's long. He's six eight. He's slender. Uh, lefty. Uh, latest team in block shots, so he gives us a presence around the rim. But he also was very good offensively around the high post and scoring in the low post. And the one thing we didn't have is a stopper on the interior. And he's one of the kids who can really do that. Uh, moving to the junior college class, we have three of those. Uh, Antoine, a kid that we foresee being a double-double kind of player, uh, getting 10 points and 10 rebounds and bringing a lot to the table. And, and a kid that's a, kind of a carbon copy of him is Darian Leslie. And he, he reminds us a lot of Colt Chapman. He's our replacement for him. Does all the dirty work, the little things, averaged 18 in, the, in junior college, nine rebounds a game. So he does. And then we brought in another guard, George Johnson from California. And he is just, he averaged 19 a game. Uh, can play the one, can play the two, gives us some more firepower to our lineup. And we're going to be very strong in the guard spots, but he gives us more of that firepower uh, from an older standpoint as a junior coming in. Then moving to our freshman class, uh, Darrell Dominic from Cincinnati Youth High School is something we've never had here. He's a 6'6", 265-pound just strong B. He's got huge hands, huge feet. He's going to grow into his body. And he's something that always gives us fits. And we've never had a counter to that. And uh, the guys that aren't ready to play and be physical, he'll wake them up real quick. So he's going to be a great asset for us. And having him for four years is wonderful. And then you look at Robert Dalton, who's coming in from Lawrence County as a region champion. Uh, he's going to sit out in redshirt this year because we are so heavy and deep in the guard spot. But it'll be perfect for him to develop, uh, get ahead academically, and also learn our system a little bit. And then you bring a coach's son in and scored over 3,000 points points in uh, Jordan Perry. We're very excited about him and we look for him to play right away. He's got the intangibles that a lot of kids don't have. Obviously scoring 3,000 points is great, but he guards, he rebounds, he passes, he's a good teammate. And one kid that we, we kind of announced him last year, but he gets to play this year is Chase Parsley. Uh, Chase is going to be a redshirt freshman for us, so we'll be very strong in our guard positions, but we'll be very strong as a team as well. We want to win and we want to win championships and that's our biggest key. We finished second in the league and I think we finished in the top 10 nationally and that's, that's not where we want to finish we want to finish number one and uh, how realistic that is will depend upon our roster and that's why it's so important for us to correct the things we didn't do well and you know nobody it was to nobody surprise our defensive units we, we couldn't put one on the floor we always had at least one or two players at all times that would not be willing defenders so we've answered that bell there's not a kid that we recruited that did not have significant work and wasn't a willing defender although they have all the other intangibles we needed that piece uh, to get us where we're going we tried to stay away from uh, the entitlement factor that comes into the program when you have transfers. I think we've got guys that buy into the all-in theory of wanting to be uh, part of us, not be us. And, and certainly we'll make that uh, happen in our meetings and in our camaraderie and when they first get here. But I think our overall team spirit will be much, much better.